Hey, this is Warren Radlick. There was big news yesterday about Project Dojo, Tesla's supercomputer that they're working on AI with. We're going to dive deep on what that means for Tesla as a company, what that means for Tesla's stock price going out in the future, and how it relates to NVIDIA. This is really, really big news. You can see this tweet here. Tesla tweeted, Tesla AI is a new Twitter account, and they tweeted about what their progress is on Project Dojo. And you what you can see here is the start of Dojo production is going to be next month, July of 2023. As you follow the timeline out, they're expecting the amount of compute, the amount of compu computational power that they will have using Project Dojo will achieve the same as the top five supercomputers in the world by early 2024. And when you get out to October of 2024, a little more than a year from now, they will reach 100 exaflops. Flops, I think that's floating point operations, EXA being like, it's a really, really large amount of compute. And this, and, and they on the side here, they have in units of A100 GPUs, which is the probably the most common processor used by uh, NVIDIA processor that's used for AI training. And you can see they're expecting to achieve the equivalent of 300,000 GPUs. A A100 GPU, currently sells for around $10,000. I think if you buy them in volume, you may get them for a little less, like $8,000. But if you do the math on 300,000 units, <laughs> that's equivalent to a $10,000 uh, GPU, then you're talking about $3 billion worth of compute here in October of 2024. And you'll notice it's rising fast. Let's get into it. Are you ready? Let's go. Here's the important thing. NVIDIA is a $1 trillion market cap company. And Tesla is developing computers, uh, AI training, and the, the, probably NVIDIA's value is being driven by AI training more than anything else. And Tesla is targeting to build AI training supercomputers that are better than in what NVIDIA does. And if NVIDIA is worth a trillion dollars and Tesla is going to have a better system for AI training, then isn't the AI training component of Tesla worth more than NVIDIA, which is a trillion dollar company? Right? And Tesla's market cap right now is around $800 billion. So basically, one small part of Tesla, the company, may already be worth or may soon be worth a trillion dollars. That, that's a big thing. If you're thinking, what's Tesla going to be worth in, in a year and a half, right? in October of 2024? And you can see, if they're going to have that much computing power, they will arguably be a trillion dollar. Just Dojo alone will be a trillion dollar company. And the rest of Tesla will be a two, three trillion dollar company. Maybe that soon. There's a lot of room for Tesla stock to go up. This is NVIDIA stock here. What we need to do now is we need to go back about eight months to the Project Dojo pre part of the AI Day presentation. So listen to this. The results we're about to see were measured on multi-die systems for both the GPU and Dojo, but normalized to per-die numbers. On our auto-labeling network, we're already able to surpass the performance of an A100 with our current hardware running on our older generation VRMs. On our production hardware with our newer VRMs, that translates to doubling the throughput of an A100. And our models show that with some key compiler optimizations, we could get to more than 3x the performance of an A100. We see even bigger leaps on the occupancy network. Almost 3x with our production hardware, with room for more. I just wanted to jump in here that what you're seeing is already, this is eight months ago, Dojo was outperforming the A100. What they're doing with Dojo is significantly outperforming the A100 already, and then they saw a path to doing a lot more. Now we've seen this updated graph showing where they see themselves getting to in the future, and you can see that, that there's already a lot of progress here from Tesla on developing Project Dojo. So what does that mean for Tesla? With a current level of compiler performance, we could replace the ML compute of one, two, three, four, five, and six GPU boxes with just a single Dojo tile. And this Dojo tile costs less than one of these GPU boxes. Let's get this straight. Just one tile. I think there's 12 in a, in a server box in and in a, in a, in a Dojo container, whatever you're going to call it. Dojo, in a Dojo cabinet, I think there's 12 of these. Just one of these is more performance than six GPU boxes six of the NVIDIA GPU boxes, and it costs less than one of the GPU boxes. So they're doing more performance 
six x the performance for less than the cost of one. That is a radical improvement, and it gets better than that. But I just wanted to stress that's where Tesla appears to be heading on terms of supercomputers applied to AI training, which is, as you're going to see later, this is where the world is heading. Let's go further. What it really means is that networks that took more than a month to train now take less than a week. So here's the point why this matters for Tesla in terms of full self-driving, in terms of robotaxi, and in terms of Tesla bot. Those of us, I, I'm literally right now as I'm recording this, I'm downloading FSD beta 11.4.4 to my car, and it's going to take about 50 minutes. I haven't had an update in two or three weeks. Right? What this means is that the updates are going to happen faster, and they're also going to be able to train larger models, so you're going to see bigger improvements more frequently if you are an FSD beta tester. And as we head towards a world where it's no longer in beta, FSD is going to improve much more quickly. It's going to improve bigger jumps more quickly. And the more compute you have, the more you can do. So we're going to get the path to full self-driving, the path to robo-taxis, just accelerated by Project Dojo. It accelerated a lot. And the path to Optimus, Tesla bot, becoming useful also is accelerated by the existence of Project Dojo. That's how it matters for just within the company, the company's goals. But when you look further and you see where this is potentially going, this is like a whole new industry that's rising is AI training, AI training as a service, perhaps. This, this world of artificial intelligence, whether it's chat GPT or whatever, a lot of big changes coming. So after proving our performance on these complex real world networks, we knew what our first large scale deployment would target, our high arithmetic intensity auto labeling networks. Today, that occupies 4,000 GPUs over 72 GPU racks. With our dense compute and our high performance, we expect to provide the same throughput with just four Dojo cameras. You can see that they're taking what currently takes 72 GPU racks, 1 24th of the space. Now, on the one hand, you get higher performance for lower cost, just in terms of what you're getting in terms of output. But on the other hand, you also means you need less space. So when we talk about Tesla factories, Tesla is optimizing how they build factories so they can build more production in a smaller footprint. They're doing the same thing here with Dojo. They're able to get more compute in a smaller footprint for lower cost. So it's lower cost for the devices. It's also lower cost for housing where the devices go. This is huge. And these four Dojo cabinets will be part of our first exapod that we plan to build by quarter one of 2023. In case you haven't noticed, it is now quarter two of 2023. So if they're on pace, it's not clear that they are. They already have an exapod up running. They already have this running. Now, I, I'm not sure that that's true because the chart that we saw, the chart that we saw production starts July 2023. So it may be that they've held off on achieving that first exapod. Or I think they had shown in a previous slide that they were producing one tile a day. So they may have already had enough. This is back uh, at the AI Day presentation, they may have already been producing one tile a day, so they may have had enough to get there already, and they may already have the first uh, first dojo cabinet running or the first exapod kept going. So there's a lot more compute going on at Tesla, and this is a huge deal. This will more than double Tesla's auto labeling capacity. The first exapod is part of a total of seven exapods that we plan to build in Palo Alto, right here across the wall. So if one exapod doubled their auto labeling capacity then adding six more exapods means that their ability to improve fsd and later improve bots performance is radically increasing and i think this is tied into that question of you know the the hundred exaflops like when do they get to the first and i think you know one pod is one exaflop so if they're going to get to 100 exaflops. That means there's going to be 100 pods by the fall of next year. This is, this is monster. And we're building out new versions of all our cluster components and constantly improving our software to hit new limits of scale. We believe that we can get another 10x improvement with our next generation hardware. I wanted to touch on this next. This is towards the end here. But you can see down here they've got version 2. They've got the tile version 2. They've got the chip version 2. They've got, you know, they're... They're already working on the next generation architecture for Dojo, which be 10 times the performance of the current Dojo. And that, I think, is where the 100 exapods comes, the 100 exaflops comes from is they're building Dojo now, but they're getting ready to go to the next generation of hardware. 
And that's where that curve, if you look at that curve, you can see that they're seeing you know, rapid growth. So it may be that July of 2024, you see the slope starts to go up a little bit. It may be that they're going to start producing version two of Dojo in 2024. I don't, they didn't give a timeline for version two of 2024 of, of Project Dojo. But if they expect to get to version two, and that's going to be a 10x improvement, when are they getting there? You know, this you're getting to 100 exaflops when when one exapod is one exaflop. This is 100 times the performance of one exapod. So you're seeing some massive, massive change, and this is going to matter a lot. And Elon's going to tell you why. Oh, you mean like a sell the chip like the Nvidia? So basically, what what's the future? Because the, I, I say you use seven nanometer, so the develop cost is like a, easily over 10 million US dollars. How, how do you make the business like a business wise? Yeah, I mean, um, Dojo is is a, is a very big computer, um, and actually will be use a lot of power and needs a lot of cooling. So I think it's probably going to make more sense to have Dojo operate in like a Amazon Web Services manner than to try to sell it to someone else. AI training as a service. Amazon offers cloud services so you can store data on their web servers and you can run applications on their web servers. So Elon is talking about using Project Dojo as the equivalent of Amazon Web Services. You can get AI train, training done for you on Tesla's cloud. This is coming as a business. And by the way, Amazon Web Services is a very valuable business. So this is going to be even more valuable. So the, the, the most, that would be the most efficient way to operate uh, Dojo is just have it be uh, a, a service that you can use uh, that's available online and that uh, where you can train your models uh, way faster and for less money. And uh, as the um, world transitions to software 2.0, and that's on the bingo card. <laughs> As someone I know, it has to not drink five tequilas. That was a reference to Andre Karpathy, who was a uh, former head of Tesla Vision. Uh, he's left the company, but uh, there was some jokes about Andre Karpathy talking about software 2.0, and he was going to do shots uh, shots whenever somebody mentioned software 2.0. So Elon threw that in, so Karpathy would have to do some tequila shots. Karpathy has taken the view that the world is going from software 1.0, where humans write code, the software 2.0, when the computers train themselves to do the tasks you need done, or when the computers are trained slash train themselves to do the tasks you need done. And software 2.0 eats software 1.0. That all the, all the software in the world shifts to uh, AI versions of software, and then that expands even further, and we see software permeating even more of our lives than it already does. Software 2.0 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. will use a lot of uh, neural net training. So... Uh, you know, it kind of makes sense that uh, over time, as there's more, more neural net stuff, uh, it, people will want to use an, an, uh, the, the fastest, lowest cost neural net tra uh, training system. Oh, there you go. Tesla has another startup business okay, that you didn't know about or you didn't fully understand. Tesla is going to be the lowest cost, most efficient, fastest AI training uh, provider in the world. And this could on its own be, a, he didn't say it, but this on its own could be a trillion dollar company. What we're seeing, we're seeing with ChatGPT, we're seeing with MidJourney and Stable Diffusion, we're seeing this with large language models and, and diffusion models, that AI, is, AI applications are starting to become incredibly productive and incredibly valuable. And the startup space is going crazy with AI startups. You just put AI in your description of your startup and you raise more money. And that's true because people are seeing massive potential value for that. And if we're going to see an explosion of AI, we're going to have an explosion in demand for AI training. NVIDIA's stock is trading so high because there's so much demand for their GPUs because they're the best current approach to training AI models, neural net models. Well, if all of a sudden Tesla's going to have a better approach that's going to cost less money, be more efficient and faster, then Tesla's going to get a lot of that business. And don't expect AI NVIDIA to sit still. Expect NVIDIA to come up with a new GPU. But when you dive into the AID presentation and you realize the extent to which Tesla is not just making the chip, but they're making the tile that holds multiple chips, they're making the cabinet that holds the, the, the tiles, and they're making the exapod, and they've designed this thing not just by designing a chip, but designing the whole hardware architecture that enables AI training to be done at a really, really high speed, this is a really big deal. A couple things that I didn't clip or screenshot, Elon has said, that the current version of Dojo is really optimized for training video clips for things like FSD Beta and Tesla Optimus. But the next version, the version two, will be a broader function 
set to be able to do other kinds of training like large language models, which is something that uh, both within Tesla and with maybe Elon's new startup, that there's a real value. I think it's called X.AI. There's a real value in having a broader set of training abilities and not just for Tesla and for the things that Tesla wants to do with cars and the bots and FSD beta, but for the broader market in general, basically Tesla is a AI startup and they are creating what looks like it's going to be the number one hardware platform and software platform. There's software involved in this too, the number one platform for AI training. And again, that alone is a trillion dollar market cap. And you add that on top of the cars and the energy storage and the robo taxi model and Optimus. And the idea that Tesla today is only valued at an $800 billion market cap is just silly. When you can see next year, Tesla will have a trillion dollar business within it. it it's, it's insane and people don't see it. But I think you see it now. I see it. You know, the idea of buying Tesla stock today at around $260 a share, $250, $270, whatever. I really genuinely believe this Tesla stock is heading to $2,500 a share, maybe $5,000 a share over time. And just this alone next year, if we're going to see Tesla offering AI training as a service, at some point Wall Street figures out, wait a minute, this is a hugely valuable service. We need to assign value to that within Tesla. Tesla will be generating revenue from it at some point, and it's just going to be a game changer. So really exciting stuff. So that's the latest. Uh, Tesla continues to do well. Still very excited about Tesla. Please check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. Please support me on the Locals platform on Patreon as a YouTube channel member or as a Twitter subscriber. Check out my other videos. Please like this video, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.